Hello guys, so today I have the Down Rob Littleton that you guys have been waiting for me to do a review on. So I took the Hugger Littleton out. I did use the Hugger Littleton blades because those blades are like essentially unusable. Like they don't move like really any air at all. So I'm probably just going to keep them as a souvenir. So yeah. These blades are way better, but the problem is, is now I have to go on eBay and buy some new Littleton blades and new Littleton blade brackets to uh, get the Hugger Littleton to have the same exact blades too. Because, yeah. So I will show you every feature. So this is the remote. I'm going to go click power. And it turns the fan and the light on. So I'm going to just show you the light. All right, so, yep, here's the light. It's pretty bright. And I'm gonna shut the light off and I'll turn the fan on low. So here's low. And it does go pretty fast on low once it gets up to speed. And it moves great airflow, even on low. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty good. I'd say this is like a medium speed for like any normal fan. Like it goes so fast. Now medium. It does have a nice hum to it, but it is the bearings, which I'm just going to leave it as that because that hum is so relaxing and, and it's it's pretty soothing. Now this would be like a higher speed for like any normal fan and it moves great airflow. Or maybe I might just have it a notch above high because this thing goes so fast and moves so much air. So yeah. That goes to show that Littletons are not bad fans at all. In fact, if you kind of modify it a little bit, they're like one of the best fans in the world. If you put it on a down rod or something like that. But in the future, I will do a video on how to convert a hugger fan to a down rod fan. And you should follow that same video too. Because it makes those fans so much better. Now, hi. And also... I even know a few friends of mine that bad mouth Littletons because they hardly move any air and they make annoying noises. But what I did is I played, replaced the reverse switch with the one that came off of this old Encon Crusader that I'm probably going to change out the motor anyway so I can have the Encon Crusader back from fan heaven. But I, I don't know if that's going to happen. Probably not, but... You know what, I'll probably just get an Eros motor. Because he, they usually sell them at Menards for like a cheap price. So yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do is probably convert it into a down rod fan and put it into this fan so that way I can easily have it working again. All right now, stop it. And that's the forward speeds of my down rod Littleton. Thanks for watching.